Hi all, welcome back to my channel. First of all, a uh, warm welcome to all the new subscribers on my channel. So, topic that we have for today's videos is uh, not exactly from any of the papers of uh, financial risk management. It's from a random question from the CA curriculum and the subject name is strategic financial management. So, uh, so, I mean, I was uh, asked one of the queries, so I just tried to address that query. So let's look at the question and try to address that. So the flow that I'll be following to explain the question is uh, first we will have a look at the question. We will understand the question in detail. And basically there are two options given in the question. We'll try to analyze both options. And at the end, we had to draw the conclusion of which of the option is better for the company. So let's look at the question. There is a company called uh, Dux Limited, which has to buy a machinery from some company in the USA at a cost of $15,000. So what company can do, company has two options. Either company can avail the loan at 19% rate of interest per annum quarterly compounding and uh, at at the end of six months, uh, they can import the machinery. And the option two is uh, the same Indian bank has got the branch in the New York uh, who is offering the company the facility of letter of credit at 2% uh, per annum. So what company can do instead of just borrowing, uh, actually uh, holding $15,000 on his book, they can avail letter of credit facility at a cost of 2%. So they can just, uh, instead of buying this complete amount, they can uh, lock into the contract and uh, at this cost. So we'll, we'll see how we can, I mean, how this, uh, how the numbers are getting generated based on this uh, cost that has been given by bank. So this is also eventually interest, but in this option, a company do not actually uh, buy this amount from the bank. So that's the difference between the loan option and letter of credit option. So other details that are given uh, are, I mean, the current spot rate for US dollar is uh, rupees 75. And uh, one, uh, sorry, 180 days forward rate is 77 rupees because uh, there is a basically, I mean, that that's, uh, quite uh, normal that uh, whatever rate you are getting today, you may not get that in future. So currently forward rate is uh, so at at rate of 77 rupees. So now uh, and the charge for letter of credit, so basically this is the interest rate that company will charge on this amount. And this is a charge for, basically this is the fees that bank charges for uh, offering a letter of credit facility to the company. So these are two different things. This is an interest component and this is a charge component for letter of credit. So uh, we have to justify which which option is better for the company to go for. And uh, at the same time, we have to take, uh, we have to uh, explore that uh, because if you see this is a, uh, I mean, this is a cross, I mean, there is a cross currency transaction. So uh, borrower is uh, not interested in uh, taking any FX risk. So uh, he has an option to hedge this currency risk at a cost of rupees 30,000. So uh, we have to we have to suggest company that if this option is beneficial to hedge any FX moments in the future, if I want to, if company want to avoid any FX risk in the future. So let's look at the, uh, Basically, it's a pictorial representation of the uh, situation that uh, company wants to buy some machinery. Uh, in, in short, we can say they want to import some machinery from some seller in the United States at a cost of $15,000. And this is a, a basically mainly details of option A, 19% per annum quarterly compounding spot rate or uh, six month forward rate and commission for charges. So let's look at the loan option. So uh, this is a loan amount that is $15,000. If I convert that at the spot rate into the rupee, so this will be amount that is 
if I borrow 11 lakhs 25,000 at a rate of 19% per annum quarterly compounding. So the quarterly interest rate would be 4.75 and uh, total cost for a company if they go for a loan option would be principal amount and uh, so basically Z, Z is your principal amount total uh, principal amount in rupees and the quarterly, compo quarterly compounding rate is uh, R that is 4.75% and this is for two quarters so basically uh, it, I mean either it's a, it's a very shortcut way to save your time in the exam otherwise what you can do you can calculate the interest for one quarter on this and uh, add that amount into the principal then again take 4.75% of that that would be your interest for a second quarter and you can add fourth quarter interest into the principal amount and get this amount so this is a basically a logical way to get uh, what would be your total payment if i have borrowed 11 lakhs 25000 at 19% per annum quarterly compounding so this is a very precise way to calculate the payment for uh, at the end of quarter 2 including principal so this is a, a payment that bank has to make in the loan option and uh, if i were to uh, go for a, if company were to go for a letter of credit option so this we saw that it's a 15000 uh, cost for machinery in dollars uh, and that comes to be 11000 25000 so uh, if the charge bank would uh, take from the company it is 2% per annum, so 1% one for 180 days. So it's 1% of this rupee amount, so it's 11,25,000. So 1% comes to be 11,250. And uh, interest on this at a rate of 19% would be uh, 1,068.75 paise. And uh, this, this is a cost of letter of credit. Basically, there, there will be two components in case of letter of credit. One is cost of opting letter of credit, which will be com which comprises of a fees of letter of credit that is 1% per annum. And uh, interest on that fees would come to be 12,318.75. And another component would be actual cost of machine, which was, say, for example, uh, $15,000. And uh, the fees basically, including fees would be, oh, that is one, I mean, one person, sorry, it's interest in the case of this uh, fees we had already factored into the, this portion. So in this case, it would be an interest rate, which was 2% per annum on the $15,000, which comes to be 15,150 rupee uh, dollars at the end of six months and uh, forward rate we saw that it was rupees 77 so if i were to convert uh this 15150 dollars into the rupee amount the payment that i will have to make is 11 11 lakh 66550 rupees and this is a cost of uh, machinery and along with that in a letter of credit option i have the cost of letter of credit as well so these two components will derive my total cost in if I opt for letter of credit option. So it comes around 11 lakhs 78,868 rupees 0.75 paise. So uh, clearly the letter of credit option is uh, beneficial because we saw that it, it was 12 lakhs 34,000 some rupees in case of loan. So conclusion is in uh, letter of credit, the cost to the company is less. So it's uh, beneficial if company is of our letter of credit option and the second thing that we have to uh, analyze is if we saw that this benefit is based on this forward rate but this may not uh, this may not be a, it may fluctuate tomorrow so uh, this i may completely lose this benefit so what borrower wants is uh, they they lock forward contract at the 77 rupees to avoid any any fluctuations in the FX rate. So even if uh, the total cost we saw was 55,000, if I were to ensure that I'm in a beneficial position in letter of credit, I will have to spend 30,000 more to hedge my cross-currency risk. 
So uh, the total but still I would be in a better position in case of letter of credit if I go for forward contracts and the total benefit would be around 25,540 rupees 53 paise. So to summarize, uh, letter of credit option is better and the yes borrower should go for hedging cross currency risk to be in complete uh, beneficial position. Hope it explains uh, well. If there are any queries, please do comment. And if you want me to take any other question from the same paper, uh, please do uh, suggest in the comment box. And do share with your peers and uh, like and comment if you like actually like the explanation and the content. Thank you very much for staying. Thank you.